Hey everybody, Jonathan here, Modern Pilates Instructor. Today we're gonna be going over a basic exercise, ab wheel. We're gonna be on the carriage, facing the front of the studio at the front of the machine. Now you have options with your hands. I don't like putting my hands on top like a push-up because you can see through the wrinkles of your wrist that there's a lot of strain and pressure press pressing down. So what I like to do is I hold the side of the platform, thumbs on top, four fingers underneath. Make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulder, not under and in, not forward and out. Make sure that your knees are on the first white line of the carriage behind the carriage strap. Drop your knees back so that you're in a diagonal line from the shoulders, hips, and knees. A slight bend in your elbow for additional support for the wrist so that the weight goes into the tricep. Look down and forward, never tucking your chin into your chest. Breathe in as you hinge from the shoulders, letting the shoulders go behind the wrist as you engage your core by either tightening your stomach or flexing your abs. Then you'll press down your palms on an exhale to bring the shoulders forward, stopping when they're above your wrist or even better right before the reason why you don't want to go too far forward to where your shoulders are in front of your wrist is because you'll lose tension and all the weight from the upper body will go into the wrist so again your knees go back you slightly bend your elbow start with an inhale as you hinge from the shoulders your arms stay straight with a slight bend in your elbow as your shoulders go back as far as you can then you're going to press down your palms keeping the core tight as your shoulders go above your wrist or even better right where the edge of the platform is sometimes i'll have you do a push-up and you start with an inhale as you slowly go down to find that shape before you press up you exhale pressing through your palms to bring it up slow and controlled stopping at a 95 percent so that you don't lock out your elbow now what i see people do is they'll go out fine with their shoulders hips and knees in a diagonal line but then maybe they go too far or they're not being mindful of their hip. And then as they press down their palms, they start to lift up their butt and their back goes back to tabletop. Try to avoid that. I think the reason why people end up lifting their hips is because they go out so far that they can't press their palms down and bring it back in. So they have to press down their knees to also come forward with their shoulders. So a good thing to do is maybe go out 60 70 percent everybody's a little different to see how far you're able to go and then try to progressively go out a little further so that you know how far you can go in this exercise you're working your tricep your shoulders and your lats your core and your abs and that is an ab wheel thanks for tuning in